Welcome into another telecast of LMC Varsity Sports alongside Peter Vera. I'm Charlie McGraw and we are here at Rhineck High School and we have a great game for you today as the number one seeded Rhineck Panthers get set to face the Blindbrook Trojans in their third time this season. And Peter, uh, the first two times they played were, it was a great game and this should be another spectacular playoff game here on LMC TV. That's right, Charlie. The first game they went to 0-0. They couldn't get a win or a loss out of that game or because it was a uh, bad weather for that game. And then Rynek won the second game 2-1 to one in overtime. So let's see if we can have another very good matchup and see if this one goes to overtime as well and see who takes it. And this Class B semifinal will kick off next as the winner will take on Ardsley or Briarcliff in the final on Saturday. Now the starting lineups. First, the number four ranked visiting Trojans from Blindbrook. Number zero, Michael Abruton. Number 15, Massimo Delgado. Number six, Ross Gessau. Number 27, Rowan Kanzler. Number 23, Drew Kay. Number 10, Zachary Kornblum. Number 14, Isaac Mintz. Number 11, David Rosenberg. Number nine, Jack Shapiro. Number 12, Brian Lee. Number 13, Zachary Zimmerman. The line work is coached by Coach Marcos Montaguda and assisted by Coach Brandt. And now the starting lineup for your right neck Panthers. Number three at the midfield, senior Jonathan Cassis. Number four, senior defense, Thomas Crook. Senior, number 17 on defense, Del De Silva. Senior, number nine, at the midfield, Dan Fujiwara. Number eight, midfielder, senior, Thomas Hendricks. Junior, number 10, midfielder, Hideo Ishihara. Number one, at the midfield, a freshman, Masa Ishihara. Number six, on defense, senior, Colin Kelly. Number 13, on defense, junior, Owen Robertson. And in goal, number zero, senior Guillermo Pons. The number one ranked Panthers are coached by Brian Acavelli and assisted by Ivan Martinez. Back here on LMC TV Varsity Sports alongside Peter Vera, our cameramen are Steve Briante, Shane McIver, and Rob Moretti, also the LMC Varsity Sports producer. I'm Charlie McGraw as we get set for the opening kickoff. The Linebrook will kick it off and go left to right in the first half. Uh, on your screen and Rynek in the powder blue will go right to left. Flinebrook in the visiting white uniforms. New thing in section one this year. The visitor wears the white home team a la the NFL wears the dark colors. As it's number one Blindbrook at four I mean number one Rynek at 13 2 and 2 and number four Blindbrook at 14 3 and 1 as they'll play it back and then go forward with it will the Trojans and it'll go up and Peter uh, Rynex got a good defense led yeah, by Thomas Crook and uh, the goalie Guillermo Pons. That's correct uh, Charlie when I was here doing a game between Rynex and Bronxville Thomas Crook led the way at the defense letting nothing come by him with Owen Robertson as well, playing very well at defense as well. And like you said, Guillermo Pons, that game that I was here for, he was out because of a red card, but he's back in here today. And he played against North Salem. He's been shut out, lights out at goal as well. As it goes out for a throw in for Blindbrook, as Pons got a touch with it, not a save, but just the ball that he played, that he got with his hands and then played it up as Crook volleys it forward. And the freshman, Masa Isha Hara, steals it, but Blindbrook gets it right back. No call from the official, because we have three officials today for the semifinal game, as opposed to the two during the quarterfinal game. It's pretty hard to 
cover a semifinal game and just with two, and you'd want one to be in the center of all the action and two on each one on each side for everything for either offsides call or, or a closer foul like on towards their section. Yeah, the two assistants on the side are for the offsides and the out of bounds for throw-ins and corners. And they, I mean, they can call a penalty too. But, exactly. Um, there's one that's like the head referee and then the two assistant referees. As Blindbrook brings it towards the goal, it's stolen though by Thomas Hendricks and it'll stay in and then go out off of Blindbrook and it'll be a throw in for Ryan Eck. As Coach Icavelli tries to motivate his team. The official has a word with the bench. There were a couple players like jogging near the bench and he wanted to make sure they went back to it because they uh, might have been in the way or something, but it didn't look like it, but it's his translation. As it goes off of Reineck and it'll be a Blindbrook throw-in with four, with less than four minutes from our only two and a minutes and 40 seconds. Seems like more, but as this one towards the goal, it bounces in front and it bounces over. It was a very close one there, Charlie. If no one touched it, though, that wouldn't have counted off the throw. -in. If it just went thrown in, it would have had to have been touched by somebody. Yeah, it had to be kicked and in. And I don't think anybody touched it. No, nobody like, touched that one. It just one. bounced high over, so if it went in, it wouldn't have counted. Like we see in a field hockey with a shot outside. Yeah, Maradona is only known for putting a goal in with his hand. Off a throw in, right? Yeah, it was off a... Um, no, oh, but he, as it goes towards the goal here, and Crook hits it off. And it'll be a corner kick as it went off of Reineck. No, but uh, yeah, the Maradona was, he just volleyed it in. Yeah. People are still angry about that, right? <laughs> the infamous hand of God. And this corner kick is saved by Pons. Good call. Calling a keeper and making his first save of the game for either goalie as Michael Abruton is in goal for Blindbrook. Stolen by Blindbrook's Mas Massimo Deladani. Reinek has it here to Fujiwara, and he loses it, goes out. Fujiwara has a lot of speed on the sides, Charlie. I remember one the game against Bronxville, he was really running out there. Did a, played a very good game with the goal scored at, on that day as well. It was a big goal too, right? It made it 2 nothing. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Is that one's header thrown towards the box again? Weinbrook, uh getting a lot off these headers as it'll be a corner kick. Second corner kick already with just exactly five minutes gone by in this first half. And it'll be taken on the far side for the first time by Isaac Mintz. And the first one, it was the corner kick went towards the box and it was saved by uh, Pons. This one towards the goal and it across the goal mouth and looked like it went out. And the official calls it. It didn't look like anybody called it and then the far official called the goal kick. So Pons will take this one. Close call, but it goes out for a Pons goal kick with four. With 34-20 left in this first half. Oh. Reineck really hasn't gotten the ball passed. This is the furthest they've gotten in it so far. And the goalie, uh, Bruten, had to go back towards the goal as he came out for it, but it was too far away. This one towards the goal touched right to the goalie. He, uh, Masapinto touched it right to Abruton and he makes his 
first save, so each goalie with one save. One a lot more easier than the corner snatched by Pons. This was a good goal kick. It looked like it was going out, but he kept it in, and he won a, a, a far throw in for uh, Blindbrook, so a good uh, punt by Bruton. And Blindbrook has another throw in deep in Reinach territory. They've had a couple of these so far. One that got close to the goal line. It's Almost. been all Blindbrook here today, Shelly. Now possessing them violently, and a shot right on goal by Mintz is saved by Pons Adam, but a, it was like a little wobbly, so it wasn't the easiest save, but he was able to easily make it and punt it to his team right at midfield. And Cassis, I think that could be his first touch of the game. That's need, right. Need him, uh, their star midfielder, to start getting more touches on it. And uh, he's one of their team captains, as I heard, as well. Yeah, this one towards the box, and Pons makes a diving save on the through ball. Three saves, but this is, uh, as you said, it's possession 75-25 almost. Exactly. For Blindbrook. Yeah, Blindbrook has been dominating so far, especially on the offensive side. You haven't seen Reinach really get close to uh, a Brutton's uh, side of the net yet. Just one ball, he had a touch. It's technically, it was a save, but as Pons has had to make three already. Cassis, another quick touch for him. He has it. He dances on it. Very dangerous is Cassis. He'll play it forward to nobody, though, but he'll bend it inbounds and chasing after it. It'll go off of Massio Pinto, one of your players you told me to watch in this one. Luke Massio Pinto. Yeah, he's a very good uh, soccer player. I've spoken before with uh, assistant coach. Ivan Martinez, and he's uh, spoken very well about Masio Pinto. Yeah, he got a lot of playing time last year as a sophomore, and then on the team that lost in the was it the regional regional final, the game we announced, uh, I announced, uh, me and Rob went. So they lost to the the state champion, who won easily. Uh, of course, great former Met pitcher. Bill Pulsifer's son Liam scored the goal for uh, Senator Marichis. They had a couple, they beat Reinach 1 0 in the regional final at Byron Hills. Uh, a lot of these guys were on that Reinach team. That's uh, one of them here. Actually, that was a nice deal by Cassis there, uh, Charlie. And ball to Beautiful play. Ishiara and then Maso Ishiara, the two Ishiara brothers, Hideo A. Jr., Maso A. Freshman. And now Dan Fujiwara has it on the near sideline and passes it right to Mintz, and he plays it. Good save there to keep it in by Zach Kornblum as he goes towards the goal. Pons, four defenders finally able to clear it, and as that was Colin Kelly as he just cleared it out of bounds for a throw-in. But that was a nice play by Zachary Kornblum as he. Uh, kept it inbounds, and then That's right. he beat two guys. He got towards the goal, and then finally Kelly had to come from the other side of defense and kick it out of bounds. He got by two or three guys, and then yeah, he got past uh, Robertson, um, Owen Robertson there. Really, I don't know. This one towards the goal, saved by Pons, and they score. Kicked in by Blind Brooks, uh, Ross Gezo, and it is one nothing. So an initial save by Pons. And then it is uh, kicked in off the side of the foot by Gesso. And Ross Gesso gets the first goal of the game for the number four Trojans with nine minutes and 48 seconds gone by in this first half. So unassisted as it went off the uh, save by Pons. A nice right. initial save. He punched it out, but then Gesso looked like, I, I think he, he kicked it in. Or Let's go it was close right to it. I think the initial shot was a header. That's right. It was a header that uh, Pons punched out, made a great save on for his fourth save. But then Gesso uh, booted it home, and um, it got a piece of a defender, but then it went in but goal. But it, it was about time for Blindbrook, because they were they was really flirting with a goal early in this game with a lot of corners and throw-ins near the goal area. And it was about, it took them nine minutes to finally get that first one in. And this one towards the goal, and they pressure him, but is picked up by Abrutin. And uh, the senior, Abrutin, will have a punt. But 
Uh, this, it was also his classmate senior Ross Gesso who has the first goal, and it's as it's one nothing. And Gesso with the push there, as drawing it was Maso Ishiara. Cassis asking for why that wasn't a yellow card. Cass has been a, is a very good leader on this right neck team. Last time, uh, when I was against Bronxville, Cass has uh, defended his players and he was always there on top of his players. Whenever there was something wrong, he would be on top of them and take all the blame when the refs were trying to ha you know, speak to the, his other teammates. Him and I think Pons are the captain. That's right. Yeah. They're the two captains, Guillermo Pons, the goalie, and Cassis. Freinach looks to possess Morris. They paid the price for only the about, in the first 10 minutes, uh, it was about almost 80-20 or 75-25. Uh, Reinach uh, being outpossessed by Blindbrook and then Gesso. And they had five shots until they, they found the back of the net and it was two in a row. The header, that was a nice save by Pons, but the juicy rebound and left, although it was a very tough play anyway. It, but was. it was a rebound and then it deflected as Gesso deflected it off of Defender, but he scored it cleanly off of his foot for the first goal of this Section 1 semifinal, the underdog Blindbrook lead 1-0, although we knew it would be a very close game as it was yeah. the two first games. They had 0-0, no OT because of darkness and no more light, and they also had a lightning delay, and then Reinach 1-2-1 here on homecoming Saturday right before the football game on a uh, goal by your man Fujiwara who uh, casts us on the cross. So Reinach definitely, although they look a little... A little slow today, like. Yes, it looks like. I don't know. Maybe the Monday's game could play to, play to the, an effect of, of their little struggles here today. They just need that burst of energy to get a good shot on goal, as Fujiwara got it from Cassis, and it goes out of bounds. No foul, but it will be out in front of our cameraman Shane McIver, and it'll be thrown in by. Owen Robertson as he'll throw it short to Hideo Hishiara and that one goes into the crowd for a throw-in and Cassis plays it in right to Cassis he heads it towards the other Ishiara brother Maso the freshman ref says play on and Blindbrook will have it on the far side Reinach needs to not let another goal in as 2 nothing would be. Wouldn't be a good deficit. To dig still early. Into. Yeah, it's very still early. early. For a first half soccer game, and Reinach has been very uh, shown that they can score many goals with uh, leaders like Casas and Masio Pinto and the Ishihara brothers and Fuji, Fujiwara also, also being able to score. Cassis, nice little chip ball to the top of the box. He was looking for Mas, Masio Pinto, but he was short of Fennis Del De Silva. Scored the uh, goal. And that one to Hideo Ishiara. Bad angle, he still has it, and the Blindbrook's much bigger defenders are able to clear it up. Good job by their defense. It's going to be be hard if they could get by them, but they'll have to do it by speed and uh, sneakiness as they, the, the big guy. They have a lot of big defenders, says Blindbrook. That's right. Redneck has a very good defensive team as well. Like I said before, with Crook and Kelly, they, they really take that stopper and sweeper position very well, do very well in the center. Owen Robertson has been seeming to struggle here so far on this close side against Blindbrook. So that was another chance for Gesso as he had a ball on his foot, but he popped it high, tried to get it, the ref to give him a corner, but instead it'll be a goal kick as it looks like that was a good call, and Pons will take it. When they played Blindbrook in the beginning of the year, we got here for about halftime, and it was zero. Actually, it was one nothing at the half. I know, I thought it was, I thought they scored that goal in the second, um, 
Right Ryan Eck tied it uh, with 15 minutes to go in the second half. Right, but when we got here at halftime, it was one nothing like this game mm. at halftime. And then Blind Bro uh, Ryan Eck tied it uh, late in the second half, and Pons will have a save on the cross. Um, and then they won it in double overtime, so we'll see if, but if Ryan Eck, they don't want to have to go into halftime down one nothing, but as long as it's not worse, as De Silva got a piece of it. Weinberg was looking for a handball, but it wasn't. And it is cleared up by the uh, defender, Owen Robertson, and it'll go out. Robertson was not on that uh, team last year, though. That made the uh, that loss to Santa Mauritius in the regional final 1-0. As Gesso, the goal scorer, gets a big hand from the Blind Brook fans, a good amount of very crowded does. Uh, field as we have a lot of fans here on both sides. The foul on Cassis right next to the corner flag. Yeah, Blindbrook isn't, isn't as far from here from right next, so we have this opportunity of having both schools with a good crowd in support of their high school varsity soccer team, boys soccer team. And like you said, both teams are very well, very good teams, and one is ranked one and the other one is ranked uh, number four. Right, their seedings for uh, section one in this playoffs. Mm -hmm. and the two and the three are in the other semifinal, as that is Ardsley and Briarcliff who are playing right now. So four and full uh, class B uh, section one playoffs, as it's the one four here. Blindbrook and Reineck, and then the two and the three, like I just said, about Ardsley and Briarcliff mm -hmm. at Ardsley. Crook gets it on his foot. Thought about blasting it and said he was looking for Maso Ishiara, and then we played it forward to Hideo Ishiara, but back to Fujiwara as he called for it from Hendricks. And then they play it towards, and Pons has a crack at it, and he plays it forward to uh, Fujiwara. He's going to have to hustle back after he uh, kind of stumbled with it and stuff. That he should have just blasted it. Instead, he played it to Fujiwara, and then he was able to get back. What? Nice play by Hendricks, too, to like keep it up. Offsides. <laughs> Official asking for an explanation. And yeah, offsides on Blindbrook. I mean on Reinach. That's right. It'll be a free kick for Blindbrook with 21.45 left. Blindbrook kicks it in towards the goal. Pons hesitated for a second, but it didn't cost him as he's able to make a nice play on the catch as Kornblum hits the deck. Kornblum. And it'll be kicked forward by Blindbrook back to Kelly. Kelly has it, far side. Masa Ishihara has it on the far side, dancing with it. The freshman getting it. Nice cross. Good cross there by Hendricks. Del De Silva plays it in. Saying uh, Del De Silva, the semifinal we did in the no! regional. An official calls a foul on oh Reinach. Um, but Del De Silva in the uh, regional semifinal that we did last year, he scored the winning goal off a header. Rob will tell you, I think it was the loudest I. Uh, ever was on a telecast. It's it was a, very exciting. He's a very tall uh, athlete and... Uh, so he was able to head it in. Those are the type the of guys you want on a corner kick, uh, Charlie. Right. But it was the winning goal in overtime against... Was it a team from Albany? Oh, Rhinebeck from uh, Section 9. Not that far uh, from... Uh, it's right near Pine Plains, Rhinebeck. About an hour and a half. At, uh, that was at Lakeland. Exciting, nonetheless. As Fuji, as uh, Maso Ishihara has it, and Blindbrook will bring it up. Yeah, 
Far shot will be taken here on Pons, and it'll be an easy one. Number six save, second shot taken by Cornbloom on target. You probably had a lot of those saves going back in your Bronxville goalkeeping days, right, Charlie? Yeah. They weren't all that easy, but some of them were. The, um, but we had that, t we had turf, so. Here, it's a little harder with the uh, grass. You gotta make sure you stay down and definitely get dirty on the knees. Late call. As they, yeah, it was a late call. I don't know about that. As they, I guess like he was trying to ball. play advantage, but then. As the official stops the clock, he's going to talk to De Silva. It looked like it was Hendricks, though, who did the foul, but it was apparently De Silva. He uh, called down that. No card. I guess he wanted to tell him. Good, he didn't give him a card, but they, they were arguing after? I don't know. Hmm. Or he said something to the official, maybe. Trying to get control, but that call might not have. As this will be taken by Isaac Mintz as he chips it towards the goal and it's stopped by Pons who dropped it and then picks it up and gets his seventh save. A little bit of a uh, dicey play there. Yeah, that was uh, pretty dangerous, you, especially when you drop it. And there was a, a forward right there near the goal to like recover and try to shoot it, but... But they had kind of went past yeah. him. So he got lucky in the fact that they were he wasn't right there. Yeah. You know? Offsides again. Blindbrook's defense doing a good job. They've looked good so far. That's right. Like you mentioned, they were they look pretty big and looks like a couple and, offside straws now. Yeah, and uh, if now we know why those two first games were pretty close. Yeah, because they're both. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, zero zero two one. And uh, yeah, first round they beat Pauling three one. And then they beat Albertus Magnus, who upset my Bron uh, former school, Bronxville, 3-0. Uh, Blindbrook beat them in the quarterfinal. Bronx, uh, Reinach beat Irvington 4-0. It was that Friday last week? And that one is headed towards the goal, and it'll be stopped by the foot. Not even a save for a Bruton. It's just as the one. And then Reinach beat North Salem in a tough game that was tied 0-0 at the half. And then 15 minutes in, um, Cassis score? Cassis assisted De Silva, just like that regional semifinal. And um, the uh, Ishiara brothers, Masos? Maso, uh, the freshman, assisted Hideo for the second <laughs> goal, and they beat North Salem 2 0 in the quarterfinal. Two subs so far. Rennick hasn't made any. Oh, and Robertson just came off. Oh, their first sub of the game. Thank yep. you, Peter. Who uh, coming okay. in would be number seven? Right? seven. Goldberg. Yep. He played a lot last year. I was surprised he wasn't starting. But I guess because of Robertson. Oh, um, Spencer Goldberg. If I'm not mistaken, he was injured in the game against Bronxville. Is if that I, yes. Bronx? Yeah. Yeah, he was. Thank you. Uh, oh, and I guess and that cross against the Rynak, one of their. Best opportunities yet to score, but it goes across the goal mouth and out of bounds for a Blindbrook goal kick. As did Goldberg play the last game, at Rob, against North Salem? Used to, was starting uh, for the team regular in the early part of the year, but came off the bench, I guess, been slowed down from an injury against Blind. Uh, oh, Bronxville. Yeah. It was uh, that Wednesday senior day, Goldberg was coming for a ball with a defender right on top. Um, he was battling for a ball, and uh, he fell like right here out of bounds, right in front of us. That was and their last regular season game. Yes, it was, um, yes. And he would have to be, he left this game afterwards with on um, crutches. Wasn't that just a week ago? It was about two weeks oh, ago. Oh yeah, two, yeah. Oh yeah, because last week, they had the playoff game on Friday, and he gets tripped in the box, but it's far away from a shot. You can't give a PK there, and it'll be... Uh, and there was no call as well, so it just went out of bounds for goal kick. 
We have not seen a goal kick either. This would be like the first goal kick. For Blindbrook, I think. Yeah. Ca uh, Cassis had one. I mean, um, um, yeah. Pons had one or two. But the first for Blindbrook. That's, that's right. Yeah. I think Pons had two. As it's stolen by Ishiara. Adeo plays it to Masio Pinto. Back to Fujiwara, and he draws a penalty first. Trip as the official talks to Deladani, giving him a warning. No card, but a warning for Deladani. As there's 1420 left. John Cassis will take this free kick, very dangerous, off of his foot. Towards the box, and it is too close to the goal, and it's saved for the second save by Michael Abrutin. And uh, good try there, but a little too close to the goal. And nobody, if, Peter, if a body could have got there before, yeah. right before the goal, it could have header. Uh, yeah. been a, uh, a golden chance. But as Goldberg makes a nice play. Booted in by Blindbrook towards the goal. Pons will come out and he'll make the save. Goes out. It'll be a throw in for Blindbrook and they'll make another sub. As the goal scorer Gesso will come back in for Steinthal with 13.05 left in this first half. And the first goal was 9.48 in. Gesso unassisted off of a save by Pons on the rebound. It was a header that Pons made a nice save, but then Gesso kicked it by the goalie Pons for the 1 0 lead for Blindbrook. Lucky for Reinach, though, we still have had 70 minutes uh, to play after that goal. That's right. And right now they have 20, uh, 12 minutes here and 40 in the next half. 52. Still plenty of time to tie this game up. Just try to avoid, like you said, that second goal from, from Blindbrook. Come <laughs> on, OB. Saved by Pons as he rips it away and doesn't let Lynch get a chance at it. Good play by Pons. His eighth save. I bet he's been busier than he uh, yeah. thought he would be. At least but, than we thought. Yeah, Pons has been a very good today so far. Goal wasn't his fault. On That's the, right. Off the initial save, he made a nice play in the rebound. Should have been. Defense should have had the guy uh, guess a mark, but he was able to score. It, it's funny how you say, uh, Charlie, that Guillermo Pons normally doesn't be is normally not that as busy at goal. It's normally because he has like good defenders like Crook and Kelly and Owen Robertson and other guys do well to keep those ball away from him. And Cassis will take this almost at midfield as the foul against Blindbrook, so Cassis will boot it far. The wind will kind of curve it off of Blindbrook. And it'll be a corner kick as it was clear it went off of Blindbrook and we'll see first corner kick first of the corner game kick. for yep. the ultra dangerous Cassis. When they beat them in overtime, it was a corner kick that he hit that uh, deflected off. The Silva, right? No, it, yeah, right, it deflected. When they won this game, Fujiwara scored it. Oh, okay. When they beat Blindbrook, but it deflected off uh, a defender on Blindbrook and went right back to him. As Cassis will take it here towards the box and it'll go long. It'll be fielded by Hideo Ishihara and he plays it back to Cassis. He was looking for the one-time strike and the Goldberg shot from 30 yards out is way wide and it'll go for a Blindbrook goal kick with 10.30 left in this first half and the Trojans up 
Good effort there by Fujiwara with the dive uh, to draw the foul. That's right. Giving another opportunity for Cassis to center one in. Wind's a lot blowing of good guys a little in that it. direction, and it's kind of messed up a couple of his free kicks the That's way the right. wind blew the ball. But we'll see what happens here. Uh, that one is not where he wants it. Towards the goal, able to get ahead on it. And for a moment, was able to try and do it was Colin Kelly, but it went off of his header, head and then foot for a goal kick for a Bruton. Plays it back to Goldberg, does Hishiara, and toward the box, but kicked out by that stealthy Blindbrook defense, and they play it forward with 8.40 remaining in this first half. Still up 1-0 as Blindbrook goal 31 minutes ago. <laughs> Reinek has been attacking more this past couple of minutes here, Charlie. Doing pretty better. But the domination for the first 10 minutes, now possessing them 80-20, Blindbrook, led to that goal. So the, right. uh, the sluggish start for Reinek uh, hurt them royally as it made it one nothing, Because they were able to dominate the possession and stuff and they were just chipping away, chipping away, and they got the nice shot on and he punched it out did uh, Pons, but then the rebound went home on the shot by uh, Gessau, but it was all because of the uh, pressuring and the out-possessing. As this one is brought in by the younger Ishihara brother, uh, Deo, no, Maso, excuse me, and played towards the box. Fujiwara gets taken down, he plays it back. He touched the ball, it seemed. With his hands on the ground, yeah. A dangerous play by uh, Fujiwara. He was on the ground. I almost also might have got a hand on it too. Right? Yep. That's what it seemed like the ref called right there. Correct call. It's one of the bigger players, Rowan Kanzler, the defender. This ball deflected off of teammate and then it goes all the way to Pons, one end to the other basically. And it'll be Pons who will kick it to midfield. Played by Fujiwara to Cassis to intercepted by Blindbrook, but played up by the uh, the Panthers. Cassis has it, looks for a man and gets his buddy Masio Pinto, who plays it to Maso Ishiara on the far side of the field. Maso Ishiara deciding what to do with it, makes a nice move, played up. Cassis has a bad angle, He's looking to center it, but he didn't get the ball cleanly. He has it and gets it back. Plays it to Maso Ishiara to his brother Hideo and we can't have an Ishiara Ishiara goal as Maso to Hideo and Hideo's shot is easily saved by Abruton. His third save of the game. That was a nice battle over there by Casas trying to maintain the ball and get that ball back also. And the way he did and to get the Ishihara brothers involved in that play as well. And it'll be played to Goldberg. Goldberg to Fujiwara. He gets taken down. No call. As the official comes into the play here. And Cass is looking for it. And it'll be played up by the Reinach defense and number and uh, Colin Kelly. And he gets a throw in on the far side of the field as Coach Icavelli kicks in the ball with 5.33 left in this one goal half so far. Nice play by Masio Pinto. Flicks it to himself. He tries to shield it so he gets a goal. I mean, a corner kick, but instead, Blindbrook just kicks it out and it'll be a throw in deep in Blindbrook territory. 
We've seen Blindbrook have a couple of these, but Reinach hasn't. Colin Kelly will take it. This is a chance right here. And it'll go towards the goal. Masio Pinto will head it. And then it'll be played there. And the shot by Fizzler just high. Oh, golden chance. What a beautiful opportunity by Reinach, especially with Cassis. And then finding Fujiwara wide open and Fujiwara taking that shot just over the crossbar. Cassis passed it to uh, Hish, uh, Hideo Fujiwara. Ishiara, oh, who right. passed it uh, like very closely to Fujiwara, who had a wide open shot. Not the best angle, but a definite scoring chance. It was and it would have got by the goalie, but it went high and uh, maybe just actually it was on target, just high. Yeah, it was just. It might have hit the post a yeah. little wide, but. It was right there. And as you said, the wind has been playing factor on some plays earlier on for Cassis. So Limebrook uh, gets back their offense here. Del Silva laying out as Limebrook has it uh, near their uh, own corner flag. But it goes out for a the one they're attacking on. As with four minutes to go, one nothing lead for Blindbrook, And they'll have a throw in for their defender. Drew K, who's in no rush. With yeah, this one nothing. Hey, that's what they want to take into exactly. the, uh, even though they don't go to the locker room into the uh, halftime talk. The one nothing lead for Blindbrook would be ideal. Yeah, they would so want this um, the clock to run out. As K is throwing towards the goal, and it is in the goal mouth, and it's loose, and it goes just over, kicked high by the Trojans. Uh, Zimmerman, Zachary. Zimmerman, not the easiest numbers to read in the front of the jersey as Zachary Zimmerman with the, the senior with the shot just high off the uh, scrum after the corner kick and Zimmerman which doesn't count as a shot on goal since it went high. Great play by Goldberg as that could have been a breakaway if it got by him and uh, it would have been Lynch with the breakaway just a sophomore but instead it, this ball now is cleared by Goldberg Goldberg's looked good since he came off the bench. And Masia Pinto getting pushed. And he had a couple more steps. He could have got even closer. Said he takes a really, really wide shot. Yeah. And it is uh, still 1 nothing with 2.35 left in this first. Going back to that previous throw in there, Charlie, um, looks like Blanbrook just brought back what they did in that first 10 minutes, as we were talking about before. Almost scoring the, the goal number two right there from by Zimmerman just went a little bit over the bar as you say as uh, Fujiwara calls for it from Goldberg and he gets it but then it's stolen away and a good defensive play by the Trojans as they'll get it and it'll be thrown in as winning it was Deladani. He gets the throw in and sneaking in and stealing it is Fujiwara and it's kicked off of the Trojans and Cass is calling for it from the ball boy and he'll get it with 135 left but he'll leave it for Goldberg. Cassis is going to stay short but Blindbrook will pick up on it oh and he'll throw it short to him. He was like behind the second line. A good ball by Cassis towards the goal. And it's bobbled by the goalie, but then picked up by Abruton. And that's his fourth save. And that was a good scoring chance once yeah. again for Reinek as Cassis tried to sneak across there. And he had to do it quickly as Blindbrook saw what they were doing. Masio Pinto, who was the first player in, he should have tried to gotten more ahead of that because I think the ball was towards him, tended for him. But um, he just thought that there was somebody else coming in, it looked like. And that would have been a good as opportunity Cassis, for Rennick. As Cassis plays it to uh, Ishihara and a good pass from him. And Ishihara could have took one or two more steps. Instead, he fired it from a couple yards behind the 18 box. And he had a shot on goal, which was a good chance. But it was right at uh, Abruchin and his fifth save. <laughs> as it'll be played in. Cassis will get it. 30 seconds left in this first uh, half. Towards the goal, pressure! And it's stopped by the goalie as he pushed it in front of him as he had pressure from uh, Maso Hishiara. So with 15 seconds left, 
It's the sixth save for a Bruton. About three or four in the last five minutes. And Pons has uh, eight saves. Right and I just stepped up in the past couple of seconds. And that'll be the last one as that shot won't count as a save, but it'll be the final uh, seconds go down as it is 1-0 on the goal by Ross Gesso in the 9.48 into the game, unassisted as he puts it in. And we'll be back with the second half, and it should be a good one as the two will switch, two teams will switch sides, and that should favor Ryan Neck. And we'll see where the win will be in the second half. We'll be right back on LMC Varsity Sports. And we're back here at LMC TV Varsity Sports here for the second half. I'm Peter Vera alongside Charlie McGraw. Ryan Neck will start here now. Let's on go, the Ryan Neck! Left, on the left side going to right. And uh, Brian Brook will be going right to left on the camera view. I don't know. On your TV. Here comes Brian Brook now. He'll go out of bounds for the first throw in of the second half would be for Ryan Neck. As Kelly throws it in. Rynek is in uh, enemy territory. That was a beautiful chance here for Rynek. But it, they, just a little slip by Ishihara, and this one I was out of bounds. Another Ishihara to Ishihara pass. Hideo to Maso. Maso. Maso foul. Oh, Hideo foul, I think. Yeah, and the pass is in. Fujiwara was trying to do some little dancing there against Blanbrook. Here's another opportunity go, with uh, Let's go right now. Ishihara, the Hideo, should be the older Ishihara. Here's Cassis. Uh, this one's headed out by Blanbrook. And Ryanek still has it. We're seeing Ryanek's pressure like Brianbrook pressured them the first to start the game. They're pressuring them to start the second half, which they should as they're down, but they had started with the ball to start the half, just like Brianbrook started with the ball to start the game. That's right. Oh, Cassis. Trying to kick it off uh, that little bounce. It's deflected by Blimberg. And with the new format with how you kick it off, the started two years ago where you don't have to tap it to somebody, you can just kick it back. And That's right. They're more possessive that way when you just kick it back and basically haven't really relented the possession since then. As Rana. Just like Blimberg did in the first to start. That's right. One minute, 45 seconds, Blimberg's barely they just basically have touched it out of bounds and stolen it for a second. He plays Crook with uh, Kelly. And this will give them their first chance. Abrupt in with the save. Looking for to punt the ball. He punts it nice and deep. Headed by De Silva. Right next to with the ball now. Cassis. Nice defense by Blindbrook as they're heading it forward. <laughs> Blindbrook continues with all the heading with K. This will be a Blindbrook throw in. And the blind broke will continue with the headers. Trying to maintain the ball ahead in the right eye territory. Not letting any. Looks like for a. Right eye was called for a high. Was last touch from right eye, so it would be out of bounds. Here comes right. Blind Brook. Blind Brook on the break. Here's the opportunity. Another one for the Trojans. And just uh, what a kicked out by Reinek, so Reinek saves. It was dangerous for Reinek. Yeah. They, they had through ball and they had a ball in the, in the goal mouth, but then the, one of the last defenders for the Panthers was able to clear it up. The wind is at their backs, like we said, so Reinek um, now has that advantage of trying to. Jose, if they ever have a free kick on this side now. Here's Cassis. Blindbrook, a little slip. Coming back is Fujiwara to help out as Kelly boots it up. Coming as Cassis to try to recover it for Ryanek. Same as Fujiwara. Nice play by Fujiwara. Fujiwara playing one touch with uh, Cassis. Back to Kelly. Let's go, Crook. 
Heads it up. With Hendricks now. Hendricks plays it right to the other Ishihara, the younger Ishihara, the freshman. Goes all the way to his brother Hideo. And there's a call by a ref to be at, looks like a offsides call or a out of bounds. Out of bounds, actually. The, the main ref, the uh, head ref, called that as the assistant refs on the other side of the field. And this, the ref on our side of the field is on this side, but the main Kelly, ref. Kelly, but a, a lot of pressure by Blindbrook. Here comes Blindbrook with Jesso, the the lone goal scorer of today's game. Reinek still has it now, again, once again. Kicks it up as one of the defenders. Reinek tries to get that out of their territory. Playing it out with Hideo. Finds uh, Masio Pinto. Masio Pinto with Hideo. Ishihara brothers back as Hideo to Maso. Here's a nice little cross. Looking for Cassis and Masio Pinto. And right next has it now with Cassis. And this one will go out of bounds for a goal kick for Blenbrooks. Great defending once again by Rowan Kanzler, shielding away uh, Maso. Actually, Hideo, Hideo Ishiara, shielded him away from the ball and for the goal kick. <laughs> There's six minutes gone by in this first, in the second half. Started the second half and a penalty against Blindbrook. So it'll be a free kick for Cassis as drawing it was Maso Ishidara. That's right. Jonathan Cassis this time has no wind in, uh, to play against his free kick. So let's see what he can do on this opportunity. Beautiful cross. That tall defense Hendricks. once again. Hendricks boots it up and is going to go over the bar. The tall defense got their head on it before That's the right. Reineck forwards can. And I think it was, once again, Kanzler, tallest player on the field. And Kanzler will take that goal kick, too. With 33-15 left in regulation. And Weinberg clinging to a 1-0 lead. Reineck's urgency has been good, but they need to be a little more urgent. Yeah. As a 1-0 uh, this a little season. A little more pressure. Yeah, this, this could be their last game. They have to attack more. And Jonathan Cass has got to push his guys that are up with the midfielders and forwards more. Cause, uh, and also, Hans has got to yell out at, out at his defenders as well to help him out. Because it looks like he's been having a lot of work to do at goal today. As that call came from the assistant referee, as the assistant referee and the main referee are discussing, the clock has stopped, but it's still going. Um, and then, let's go, as let's go, Reinick, let's go, fans start screaming here, let's go, Reinick. Trying to get their the Panthers boys varsity soccer team a little more motivated. Nice save by Pons coming out to pick that up with a nice and punts it quickly. Looking for number three Cassis and Ishihara. Nice header there by Blindberg trying to keep it up with number four Lynch. Blindbrook's defense continues to impress. That's right. Very stout. Here comes Kelly. Little mistake, little miscue. Almost causes him. But this one was last touched by Blindbrook. Kelly throws it in quick. Tomasio Pinto. Coming on the right side here on his front side is Ishihara. Hideo gets the ball taken away from him. No, 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 no. But Ryan recovers with Fuji. Wara. And it's uh, last hit by Glenbrook, so Kelly comes up to throw in the ball. Why is Cassis staying here? He should have went in there. That's right, he should have. I mean, with the throw, and he stayed back for it, but they had him marked. He should go in, and now he does. But And we have another throw in now for Reinex. So. He should definitely go in, and he should even put uh, Del Silva. He'll come in and trail, but 
You need to get a lot of guys in on here. Beautiful throw, and this one is close, like the ones that Blanbrook had in the first half. Kelly's had, Kelly's had some good throw-ins there, Peter. Yeah, so this time Reineck has the ball. And he'll have another here. And it'll be a goal kick for Blind Brook. Masia Pinto tried to draw a corner, but he went off of him. With 30-25 left in this regulation. Reineck trying to really get that first one to tie this game up. It would not be the first time both teams have gone tied in the first two halves. It'll be the third. It'll be the third time. Because they the went year. into overtime the first game. They would have went into overtime the first game, but because of the lightning and the... Um, Here comes Ishihara with a lot of pressure. Lighting. Little miscommunication between yeah. Cassis and Hendricks. The thing is, Rynex had like one or two chances, like real good ones, but they haven't had like a perfect. Yeah, that's right. I mean, like, it's not like they missed like a breakaway or a point blank shot or uh, a really, really good chance because they haven't had it. Okay, let's go! It's and been Blind pretty tough. had a couple in that first 10 minutes and they scored it. The and here comes one, one for Blind Book once again, and the shot is wide. just wide. And it's just if you could have maybe like shrugged off that defender it would have been a one-on-one -on -one with the goalie Pons and you know we never know what could have happened there but Pons uh, again just having a little bit too much stress on his a lot of work put put on him from his defenders today right. and that's normally is not that's not a normal for right now because Crook Kelly and everybody else on the right neck defense normally keep everything away from for Pons to do. Well, as David Rosenberg has a cast, <laughs> cast on his arm, so he can't take the throw in from Linebrook. <laughs> right neck here trying to get this ball away. Beautiful play there by Cass. Pushes it forward. Good play by Goldberg. Here comes Ryan Da Silva trying to get that ball away with Crook. And they just kick it out of bounds. So it'll be a throw in for Blindbrook. Now Blindbrook has been attacking the last couple of minutes of this second half. With Linebrook bench, they're all standing. They're very uh, urgent and happy with the team, but the nervousness on the right neck bench is they're all sitting and just trying to stay warm. Here's an oh, and it just skimmed right off the head of um, Brian Wee, I think. Yeah, Kenton. Great punch. And Kidale almost had a. What a punch by Pons! That was with the win quickly. Nobody, the Blindbrook defense wasn't all back, and uh, Ishiara Hideo was up there. He threw right. it, and the uh, official on our side made the correct call of corner. Oh, and a pass is not his best corner kick. Yeah. And this one will be a goal kick now. Okay, that was all right. That was, all right. That was a very beautiful pump by Pons. Hey, hey. That would have been Pons his assist. Pons yeah. Pons would have got the assist. It's like every goalie's dream. <laughs> Get an assist off an 80 yard punt. I had that dream once. Ishihara was so close too. Just had a defender on him and then the goalie also to beat. Just, but he did win that corner, which was a very good call too. That put down the, the Blindbrook uh, bench now to sit down as well. So Reinach has really put more pressure here now in the second half, looking for that tie goal. Blindbrook looking to add to it. Pons got mis misjudged it there as he called keeper, but it was Fuji. outside the 18 and he had a retreat. Is that ball with the win? Blindbrook player is hurt. Here comes uh, Hendricks playing it with Ishihara. Here comes Reinach. Here's an opportunity, beautiful cross. Goes all the way back to Cassis. Cassis finds Fujiwara. 
Beautiful play by Fujiwara. Fujiwara on this one side. Near the corner, plays it back to Kelly. Kelly tries to cross him, and it'll be a throw in for Reinach. A lot of hard work there by Reinach just to get that throw in, but it looked like Fujiwara, he was just on sides and he was able to escape. Luckily, the player from Blindwork got up okay. Yeah, it, was, it looked like he crashed into an arm of a running defender. Here comes. But Pons actually helped him up. And, uh, That's right. Because he knew his team was on, so they couldn't afford the whistle there. And uh, players, it was 23. He looks okay. Uh, K. With uh, 15, almost 15 minutes, 25-15 left in this in this uh, second half. And Rynex still attacking here in these in the latter of minutes here. Beautiful play there by Ishihara to pass it all the way to Kelly. Kelly trying to cross it into Masio Pinto. And a Crook. Crook almost has a little miscue. Gives it back to Kornblum. But he slips and looking for a call, looking for a foul call, but Rynek once again attacking. And now Rynek looking for the foul call and they do get it with Ishihara being the young Ishihara getting fouled. What's he pointing to? But it looks like he's pointing the other way, that's right. No, but he gave it to him. Oh, he's just going back to Kornblum. Because Kornblum was arguing. So Reinach once again with another free kick opportunity to score their first goal. And Cassis will oh, no. a slip in the box. The One blind broke player was tying the other blind broke player's shoe, but then they had to stop the play because his uh, his arms in a cast. But then he, they came up quickly, and then the Cassis was able to catch them off. But falling was I think it was who was it Hendricks? Yeah, it looked like, and that's could have well, could have maybe been the opportunity if Hendricks was up because that's where the ball was leaning towards to. Get it in the box. There's Da Silva and Cassis doing well to keep that ball up. Going all the way to the to Maso. Comes on the and that would go way out of bounds. So Blambrook now has it a throw in. Blambrook hasn't touched the ball in the past few minutes. Well they have, it's just they haven't you know, been able to attack now that Reinach has been putting more pressure here in this ladder of minutes of the second half. Beautiful throw in for Reinach. Reinach playing it off here with, with Maso. Playing it on the side, looking for Kelly. Kelly kicks it up. Here's number two for Reinach. Oh, that is just into the hands of Abrutton, another save by Michael Abrutton. Good job by uh, Michael Abrutton uh, with the his seventh save to steal it, to save it right before it could have been headed in by Messio, Messio Pinto and to, to secure it so he didn't give him a rebound. That's right. If he bobbles that, I'm sorry, Messio Pinto would, could put it in for the save that. Probably one of his better saves. That was a high. That was a very low. with the wind a little bit, and so we'll have a throw in on the far side. The player who went down seems to be okay. Drew K, and he'll take it with almost two minutes shy of the halfway point, as 22 minutes left in this half. Ryan heads it up, try to take it out of the box. Good job by the defense, and Marcel Pinto draws a foul. Good job by. With Marcel Pinto to draw the foul on the half. Cassis will take it this far back. This is a perfect spot for Crook to take it. That's right. Crook at the game against Bronxville took a yeah. beautiful free kick and that was scored by Marcel Pinto, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. And last year's semifinal, the game we did here, I think, quarterfinal, Crook had a perfect play beautiful from draw. that far. But that was a beautiful free kick also by Cassis. And still has a chance here with Hendricks. I Here think comes number 10, Kornblum. It's a perfect spot for Crook, but. With Shapiro. They're trying to play with the Shapiro. Here comes Shapiro, but Crook boots it up. And Reinek, once again, will be playing it up, but this one would go out of bounds, and it would be last touch by Reinek, and Blindbrook would throw in. 
it takes five seconds. <laughs> Number 23K, as you said, looks good, but this time they do get the foul call. That was unintentional. He barely touched him. It was unintentional. K dove again, but um, I mean, the way he, he reacted, Hendricks barely touched him, but they call a free kick against Hendricks. Got him. It was a tough call. Yeah, so Mintz will take the free kick here for Blindbrook. Mintz ready to take it. Takes a beautiful shot. Nice header out from Reinek to. And the last touch by Fujiwara, and it will be a corner kick for Blindbrook. The first one in a while for Blindbrook. Let's go, Reinach! Reinach fans continue to yell now more for their for their Panthers. Oh, a big mistake. Oh, my oh, mistake. He swung and missed, yeah. basically. And it deflected off of him and went right to Blindbrook. But then they were able to clear it. That had disaster written all over. Blindbrook scores here, that would be horrible. That would have been a very bad. It's off his head, so he's allowed to take it with his hands. So he chested it. Yeah, that would have been a goal for Blindbrook. Uh, Reinek would have been in really serious problems right there. Because the sure Blindbrook has been playing very good defense. And the sure and foot of John Cassis, too. When uh, basically he swung and missed and it deflected. That's right. Went to the middle. Is Blindbrook here again with the pressure? Blindbrook looking for, oh, just a little bit over. Looking for, looks seems like number five, Sunshine. Six, right? Oh, that's the goal scorer, six. Uh, oh, I guess so. Just so, yes. So, I don't think Sunshine's played one of the best last names, though, in section one, Sunshine. Pons boots it up, kicks it up. Number 15, Deladon kicks it up as De Silva takes it now for Reinach, trying to, but Blindbrook takes it away once again and just casts it, or oh, it would be. Now Cass, it would be Ishihara trying to battle for that one. 18 minutes, 20 seconds left in regulation. Reinek looking for Masio Pinto with the other Ishihara comes in. Also with Fujiwara now, looking for Cassis. Cassis now with the ball, and there's just too many def Blindbrook defenders. Oh, and this looks like, and it was out of bounds. Good call by the official, great call by that official. The goalie got upset, but it, he did hit it, a blue tin did hit it out of yeah, bounds. That's right. Off his hand, and this could be a huge spot here. They should put everybody, everybody but Crook. Everyone's back for Blindbrook, so, but. And beautiful, and a chance. Oh, what a beautiful kill of Reinek. It was headed into a Brighton, but pushes it out, and then there was a kick that went right into the hands of a Brutton. I think it was a Fujiwara. Fujiwara cracked it right at a Brutton, and a Brutton was right at him, so he was able to make the save. That's but right. A, another good save by a Brutton, and he has eight now. Pons has nine. Here comes Ishihara. Like you said, yeah, he punched it out right to uh, Fujiwara. Fujiwara cracked one, but right at him. That's right. That could have been the that could have been the tie. Uh, Tying goal right there. That would have really brought the noise here at the right here, here at Ryan right Soccer Field. Cassis kicks it up to a beautiful opportunity, but it's just a little bit up over Ishihara. But coming to battle for it is Masio Pinto and Fujiwa. Looks like there's a little passing. Six. Is it throwing? Some throwing. Wow. Beautiful throwing. But by, Crook is right there. By K. True K. And so is Kelly. Here's Masio Pinto trying to. So Fujiwara looks like he's gonna not take it. So Kelly runs quickly in. As you said, look, uh, once again, Cassidy is playing back. Hey, he's gotta go towards the goal. He's a movement. Nice and tap here's an opportunity. Here's, here's Ishihara. The muscle was just 
Is she hard? He should have. He should have even tried to go down there. Yeah. And he was right at the top of the box. Who knows with these refs? If you get a call, and especially well, you had three defenders went down. There was three guys him. right on him. If he kind of beautiful. Here's another chance for Reinek. Just too many defenders on the blind bird side. He's got to let it go in the box. He'll trap it and he'll bring it out. Well, Hans, he's looking to kill it and he decent kick, but blind, right to Blindbrook. 15.30 left, Peter. Yeah, and right next still has yet to score, so this is still a one nothing Blindbrook off a goal of Jesso in the first 10 minutes of the first half. Rynex still looking for that first. He just comes Cassis. Cassis is coming very quickly, and he wins the ball. Cassis still with, but it's less. Oh, that's a good play by Cassis. Yeah, he so, was trying to get the corner kick, and he was able to die for it. Cancelor dove for it. He stopped it, and instead of it going off a of Cancelor for a corner, Cancelor hits it out. We won't get to see a good throw in from uh, uh, not the best throwing, but it's, uh, from uh, Kelly. Still in Reinick possession. Kelly with a nice cross. It's the, oh, it looked like a handball, but it could wasn't. Have been. That could have been a handball. Yeah, that's what I was th looking at, at seeing too. the box. It was Kelly. very close, you're right. Fujiwara. Fujiwara a little too rushed. Hendricks. He slipped as well. That's where that grass uh, Kicks it up. Fujiwara feels. trying to battle it for it, and he does. Oh, but De Silva loses it. It's as very number, close to a handball. Yes, it was, it, and it was, it In the seemed box. to me as well that it was but apparently the refs didn't see it, so there was no handball call. Here's an opportunity for Blindbrook, a little miscue there with Shapiro, and he does, Shapiro does get it, but he kicks it out of bounds. So it would be a goal kick for Reinach. This game is amazing here. <laughs> this semi-final matchup is this. It's every, everything we thought and hoped it would be. Yeah. 13.50 left. Hans kicks it up. Good play by Kelly. That's right. Oh, here's a chance. Here comes Ishihara. Ishihara with two men on. And it is just out of bounds. And it looks like it would be a goal. The, the, the side net got you there almost, right? Yeah, I know. It hit the side net. I was yeah. make sure you knew it. No, it was I just saw it. <laughs> I saw it. It was him and two defenders. He was, it was um, we, we and Cancelor, the two big guys, but Hideo Ishiara had a breakaway and went off him. And then there was a chance, he thought it might have won, been a corner that it was yeah, deflected that's by them. That's it what could I was have been, thinking as well. But they just gave a, they just said goal kick. But they need somebody to help him. I mean, you gotta risk, you gotta have another guy with uh, right. him, like right there. They are moving on Massa Pinto and stuff. Also, they haven't made a sub this whole half. I don't no. think they will now, but. But uh, that was Rookers. another great kick by Pons that almost could have been an assist by Pons. But the official stops play, calls a handball there. Where was he before? On um, that one, that's right. Accura, gray Acura, license plate, SP, Go right in. 4, 5, 8, 8. You're being towed. You are parked oh! Oh. Oh. Athletic Director Joe with a funny tow truck joke on the PA system. Apparently there's a car that shouldn't be parked where it, where it is right now. Here's a chance for Blindbrook. Fujiwara trying to win this battle and he does, oh, but it's just of Fuji. out of bounds. Not good. As that goes out of bounds, and Blindbrook can milk a couple more seconds. 12 minutes, 5 seconds to go, Peter. And the new rule, no extra time, right? It's all kept on the field. So there's no extra time, and whatever the board says, then two substitutions have to come off the field, and it's really taken a while to come off. The goal scorer guess out. That should be a card right there. This delay of game taking like forever to get off the field. Really, speed him up. The one guy comes out, and towards the goal, Paz has to make a save on the header. Yes, that was uh, Corn Bloom. Could have, uh, that would have sealed the deal. That's right. Linebrook. That would have been a heartbreaker for the Rennick faithful here today. And there is Good a foul. foul. There is no foul. No, he did. So it would be for Blindbrook instead. I don't, what, dangerous play? He played yeah. it on the ground? Yeah, it I thought like, it was a trip before. Right that's there? what I was thinking as well. It, there should have been a foul call for Ryanek, but since, but what the ref saw was that Ryanek's player being on the ground, it was called like a dangerous play, like you were saying. That was uh, Maso Ishihara. 
He can right neck once again. And he played it dangerously on the on the ground, but it was looked like it could have been um, a push before that. That's what. So that's good that they didn't call that push there. Hand on the Trojans. And it'll be a free kick. That's the first. 10:40 to go. Times are wasting. When they came back in the first game, uh, first time they, second time they played, first time they played here on homecoming. Um, they uh, they scored before this in the second half. They didn't so there's wait this still long time to though. tie it. There is. That oh, we called it, that he played it with his chest. Could have been a. Here comes Lynch. Lynch plays it with K. Here's Blindbrook, but it goes right into the hands of Pons. Good shot. Beautiful by save by Pons. Cornbloom. Right. Pons has to play that to a player. He'll chase after it. Deladoni kicks it up, It'll keeps stay it up, in. which is a smart move by Blindbrook. And Just Pons to play it to Goldberg a little hard, though. Oh, Pons, sloppy pass, and he missed Goldberg. And now Goldberg will get it back. Time is of an essence, Peter. Yeah, that's they got to right. be less sloppy with the ball. Crook kicks it up. Beautiful kick up. Oh, they got to start pushing up here. Here comes Ishihara. And this Pinto. one's going to be it. Oh, that's right. Masio Pinto. I'm sorry. That was number 11. Yeah, passed so, it. Uh, Ishihara passed it to him. So now it would be a throw in, and the throw in was played quickly. And it looks like another throw in. Buddy Ivan Martinez. Number seven, Spencer Goldberg. To Goldberg. That's right. Good all assistant coach. Ivan Martinez, a legend here at Reinach. Brought many goals for the Reinach faithful. Passes will throw it in. I don't know why Kelly won't, because oh, he's on the other side of the field. But. That's right. So, Davis, uh, Delmaro De Silva pushing up. And that's... The, it would be, it's a smart move to have De Silva move up a little more. Especially if you want to have a cross, you would want the taller guy to be there for a header or anything. All right, that's how they won the regional final last year. And uh, he scored in the playoff. He comes right next. Playoff Just game, the last game. a little bit too in the far quarters. out for him. And it would go out of bounds. And Blindbrook will milk the clock with two substitutions. Because they'll take a goal kick with 8.30 and counting. This continues to silent the Rynek crowd. Players got off quicker there, that was good. And they blow the whistle, he's... And... A, this time, a Britain does not take the goal kick. And that was a good decision, because Kanzler uh, really had a good kick. That's right. And switched the whole uh, position of the field. Pons, let's see if he can really get into one like we've seen a couple. Yeah, he's been doing very well. And he's taking his time, so he does. Nice little punt. Though. It is a nice punt again to Fujiwara, but this one is once again with Mintz getting the ball. And the defense once again stealing it away from Reinach. Here comes Reinach once again looking for that, that tie goal. Desperate in need of that tie goal because we are now on almost at seven minutes and 30 seconds here. And they've been playing not as great as you would wish for. There's been a lot of sloppy plays, as you said, by Ryan Eck. Not their best effort today. Yeah, that could have been played not out better on this effort. last play. Still have seven minutes, though. That's right. To change it. 7.05 now. And they really got to push guys up. That's and right. It doesn't matter if you lose 2 nothing, 3 nothing. If you can't score to tie it. I'm surprised Coach Icavelli has yet to bring in maybe an extra forward for a defender. And here comes on. Oh, it's just Well, I think all these guys up. can play more offensive. I That's mean, right. move De Silva up from defensive midfield to a yes, scoring yes. midfield. That would be perfect to play. And Kelly move up too because he's been playing pretty good. It's moving up, up as well. here. Here comes Fujiwara. Right neck with the shot. Oh, oh the, the post. post. Oh. What a post. Way to hit it. Pinto. It was just to the right side of the post. And Fujiwara headed it right to him. And Masio Pinto flick. kicks it right to the post. And holy Clyde Brook has just been saved. Wow, he better kiss the post, that goalie. That's right. I, I and there's a hard foul back. I that don't know, should be that a card. should be a card. That should be a card. 
Let's get it. Crook, why isn't Crook? Oh, they're having pawns taken. So, uh, on that last play, Fujiwara headed it perfectly right. to Masio Pinto, and he had a shot. He had the goalie B, a Bruton, and then stat, and it hits the post. Wow. That was a beautiful play just on the post, though. What a goal that would have been. And it hit the wrong, like, the, sometimes it hits the post and goes right. in. It hit basically square and the right on side the post, of the post yes. instead of the left, left side of it. A little bit in, yeah, exactly. If it went a little in, it would have went in instead, right? And it stayed in play, too. Yeah, because It basically hit square on in the middle and stayed in. Yeah, because the button wasn't even near that no, side. he was on the other because he was... Yeah. Because he was, it was in the middle. Exactly. Was, he was ready for a shot right at him again. Mm-hmm. But it was a nice play by, um, I thought he was going to try and score it. I think he did with the header, Fujiwara, but instead his header went um, off, went to Masio Pinto, Pinto, who cracked a perfect shot, but not perfect enough. He's just right. the post square, as there's only 450 left. And that was the chance right that there, was Peter. The that was one. the and golden that chance. As I was saying before. That was at the seven minute mark, too. Wow. Just wow. So now it's a throw in for Blindbrook. I could barely scream. Yeah, I was screaming because he was saying that the ball was not last touched by Reinek, but it. They got that, it really push up, and we yeah. saw them pushing up because that play at midfield, they had um, a pawns taken. Yeah. Even though Crook was near him, and Crook has the ability. Here comes Kelly. Kelly kicks it up. Great job by Masio Pinto coming back for it. Masio Pinto doing a very good job here. Masio Pinto, but there's just too many Blindbrook defenders. Blindbrook has been playing pure defense in the second half. Del De Silva. They've been playing pure defense the whole game. That's right. Really good in the second half. That's off a of blind. No! That's a bad call by the official. That looked like that was off of Blindbrook. Right? Uh, it, it did seem for me, too, that it was off of Blindbrook. But as the refs have been seeing the last couple of plays, that it was a uh, last touch by Reinach. Coach Egg must be oh. livid after that one. I, it was on the other side. I don't know if he saw it well. This would be a tough one for Coach Iacovelli because he, in this every year he's always had a good team and he's got about nine seniors leaving him this year. Good play by Pines. Good aggression. Throws it to Goldberg. Here comes Spencer Goldberg. Looking great after that injury two weeks ago. They got to all push up. Ah. And it was too just good. a little bit too strong. Three minutes left, Peter. Exactly. This is a tough one so far now for Ryanek. That post was killer. It really was. By Masio Pinto. Still got three minutes, though. They got to all push. And oh, that's let a it go. You've let those go all game. Tough call there by the ref. Fishes. Ref has been very... He's been okay for the most part. He's been decent. I give him a six, seven out of ten, maybe. <laughs> Better than most refs, but a couple big calls. Yeah. That one they should have let play on. I, I see it was a trip, but they've called. Uh, they've let them play on a lot of those. That's right. They did. And that a kills 20, 30 plays seconds. That the Reinick should have had a foul called against. That kills 20, 30 and seconds. And that really just is a little dagger to Reinick as well, just playing the ball all the way in the Reinick. Blindbrook stalling with another substitution. We have two minutes and five seconds left. And they, at some point, Pons is gonna have to leave his goal area. And I think... Whenever it gets near like a corner right. or a free kick, it would have to be on that yeah. moment. Because right now, Blindbrook has been playing super right here. smart. And that, nope. that is a good, good play. point trap there, Charlie. It, trap it, trap it, Guillermo. Keep trapping it. And nice ball by Pons. And it goes towards oh, Cassis. Just, just missed it. Missed again by Cassis. And here comes a with a beautiful shot. Wow. Just a little bit wide. That was a good chance, though. It was. Maso Isha. It was just wide and high by uh, Maso Ishihara. At first, it looked like nothing, and then kind of flick, fluttered. Reinek really looking. Now there's one minute and 10 seconds left in this. Full time for full time. Should have drew a foul. 
Reinex still with possession. Hans is waiting, but oh, who is that to Kelly? He's got to get there. But he's got he, he's all right here. Hans because should as push. has been playing all defense yeah. now. Good ball. Here's a chance for Reinex. Just still Reinex here. Oh, and still 40 seconds. 40 seconds left. Crook now. Crook has to play quick. Oh, oh no. my God, this is not a good sign, but it's gonna go out of bounds. He's gotta hustle after it, Pons. You got 25 seconds, 25 seconds. 20 seconds. Crook. Ah, they intercepted him. And this would be the last one for Reinek as Blindbrook is already celebrating. Blindbrook knows they're going to the final. As Pons will kick it in the five. The guy just hit it towards the goal. Blindbrook goes to the finals. And it was as, the... As they win one nothing, and what a car breaker for Reinek after that. He almost got the toast. Yes. That was the difference. They that, should have tied it. They got very lucky, Blindbrook. That post was an inch. That ball was three inches away from tying it. And I'm not just saying this, but I think Reinach had the momentum. They would have won in overtime. They would have. They would have won in overtime. Security didn't do a good job. They have people running onto the field here. That's right. <laughs> As. Uh, and now Joe is on it. So, Blindbrook, um, I mean, they outplayed him in the first half. And, but in the second half, Reinek outplayed and him. Reinek outplayed him, but the thing was, the, the main thing that helped Blindbrook win this game for me, Charlie, is that defense. Right. Ch uh, Blindbrook and the outplayed post. defense. And that post was the extra, the, the number 12 for Blindbrook today. Um, two guys, yeah, we, Ryan Wee and Kensler, number 27. Rowan Kensler. The big tall guy, like 6'3", 6'4", right. with the blonde hair. And then a Brian Wee, uh, the defense from both those guys was uh, very stout. And, it was. Uh, it, was a, it was a good, we ended up having a good weather and everything was good, but. Um, it's just not the result that we wanted to see here for, for Ryan Eck as uh, they had a, such a great season as they went about 10 games on, on a 10 game unbeaten streak. with, And now this just, Season goes to an end early and the semifinal loss against Blindbrook. And it was a game of inches as Masio Pinto shot off the header of Fuji um, Wara. The header to Fuji Wara with seven minutes to go as good despite his sportsmanship, Reinek holding the thing. But I would say, I mean, they were inches away from uh, tying this and putting it into overtime with seven minutes to go. As uh, we'll wrap this one up on the post game show uh, next That's here good. on LMC Varsity Sports. Back here on the post-game show with Peter, and Peter, uh, that was a very good game, a great second half, and Reinek was uh, inches away from tying it with seven minutes to go, but Massimo Pinto's ball hit the post, and uh, it was, this game was everything we thought it would be. Yes, it was, Charlie. Um, three games in a row now that Reinek and Blindbrook have just gone down to the wire of just battling it out for who wins it as the first one we... As we said, 0-0. The second one, Reinek won in overtime, 2-1. And this one, Blindbrook wins on a 1-0, in which they scored in the first 10 minutes of this game. And it's just a heartbreaker to see that, you know, Masio Pinto, you know, just that, if that would have just been in there, you, like you said, it, that could have been a, probably an overtime win for Reinek. Probably. It would have been tough to yeah. tell who would have won that game, but it would have given them a lot of momentum, and with seven minutes to go, it might have given them a uh, win in overtime. Nonetheless, Blindbrook's defense was able to uh, win this game. They were very stout, and that was the difference, too. And the first 10 minutes were the difference, as Blindbrook had eight, an 80-20 possession advantage, and uh, Rennick was a little sluggish, uh, not themselves, in the first 10 minutes. And that was the difference in the game, because that was the only goal in the first 10 minutes. by. Uh, That's right. By Jesso, it was a uh, first goal. It was in the first ten minutes of the game, and uh, it was just a heartbreaker. Just you know, like like you said, Blindbrook just clearly dominated in those first minutes, as having that 80 to 20 percentage of the ball. But not only that, just the defense that they were able to do and play in the first and second half, and not letting Vrynek get near uh, their goalie or that to get that goal. And their first goal stood as they were able to. Uh, 
uh, not let any goals by Reinach the rest of the game, and that ball hitting the post was the difference by inches on Masio Pinto with seven minutes to go. So final score, one nothing. Blindbrook will advance to the Class B uh, sectional final as they will play either Arsley or Briarcliff, and Reinach, the uh, champion in the regional final last year, uh, where they lost in the regional final last year, they will play um, not make it that way as there'll be a new Class B sectional champ this that's year. That's right, that's right. So a lot of people to thank for today's telecast, including the uh, CEO, uh, Executive Director, Matt Sullivan. Community Sports Producer is Mr. Rob Moretti. For our cameraman, Shane McIver, uh, Rob Moretti, and Steve Briante. Once again, for Peter Vera, I'm Troy McGraw saying thanks so much for watching and have a great evening. <laughs>